to today's topic, the one time you should not invest in stock. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. We're new here. We love new subscribers. We also love comments. So if you have suggestions, feedback, questions about your own situation, please leave a comment. I will definitely get back to you and answer uh, any questions that you might have. My name is Ashley Michike. I'm the CEO of True North Retirement Advisors, where we focus on retirement planning for small business owners. So I have a client situation right now where um, this client would like to buy a commercial property uh, for an owner occupied space. So he would pay down the loan on the property over the next 10 to 15 years and then hang on to this property once he retires and have it be a supplemental income source for him in retirement. The problem though is that he could find the perfect property next week, next month, three years from now, five years from now. He's very specific in terms of the size he's looking for um, and the location, the part of town, and what he's willing to pay for this property. So um, it could take him a really long time to find just the right fit for him. And so we need to be ready at any time to put that money, take that money out of whatever we've invested it and put it into the commercial property for the down payment. But the challenge is, is that we don't want it sitting in cash because it likely will be, you know, three to five years, somewhere in that time frame. And so we don't want to sit in cash earning nothing because he's going to lose money in real terms due to inflation if we do that. We need to make sure that this money is going to be there when we need it most. So we can't put this money at risk in the stock market. And an important rule of thumb to remember is that if you need a large sum of money for a very specific major planned purchase that's gonna happen sometime in the next, say, three to five years, we shouldn't put it in stocks. Big, big no-no. It's very tempting to do that because you wanna maybe grow this capital even more or maybe you know, you're, you're not quite sure you've saved enough. But it can be devastating if at the exact time you need that money, the market's taken a downturn, the economy's in, you know, in shambles, and all of a sudden now you can't invest in whatever that was that you've invested in, or you can't send your kids to college, or you can't pay for your daughter's wedding, the, her dream wedding that she's been talking about since she was three years old. I know firsthand what this is like. The unique thing about this situation and the unique challenge that I think a lot of people face when they're planning for a major purchase, purchase is that you don't exactly know when. There's a big question mark around that. It could be a year from now, it could be three years, five years, it could be even longer. So it's really not appealing to sit in cash for that length of time uh, and you'd really be doing yourself a disservice by doing so. We want to earn something on this money, have it grow, have it at least keep up with inflation while we wait for that perfect time and that perfect opportunity. I'd say anytime you have a major purchase planned, you know you're going to make this purchase within the next five years and you need a substantial amount of money to make that happen. That's money that really should be segregated from the rest of your portfolio, parked in something other than, you know, here's my overall retirement portfolio and here, here's my investment strategy. And that, you know, definitely should have some portion in stocks for most people. Very important. But if we have this other portion over here that's earmarked for something else, that really should be segregated from the rest of the assets and invested totally differently. We don't want that money that we need in say two, three, four years, we don't want that money in stocks at risk of losing 20, 30, 40%. Okay, that would be devastating. So what should we do instead? Some type of fixed income ladder. If you know you're going to need this money in six months, bang, like buy a six month CD or something where you can earn a little bit of interest, um, but the, the money's going to be there exactly when you know you're going to need it. So here's how you make this work. Step one with this whole process is 
deciding how much you need. How much capital do you need for whatever this major planned purchase is? The next step is making an educated guess about how long you think it's going to be before you're going to need this money. So once you know exactly how much you're going to be investing and uh, the time frame, uh, educated guesstimate of when you're going to need that money, then we can start building the ladder. Okay, so let's walk through an example of what the ladder would actually look like. And in my mind, you really have three main options with how you build this ladder. If safety is the ultimate most important thing to you, then you're gonna wanna invest in CDs, and we'll talk about that and the trade-offs there. If you wanna earn the highest rate of interest you can earn while still preserving and being prudent about that capital that you have, then investment grade corporate bonds are gonna earn you the highest uh, interest rate uh, of the three. Unless you are in a really high tax bracket and in a high tax state, uh, like Oregon, we have state income taxes, and then you also pay federal tax. So if you're in a high tax bracket, it might make sense to do a municipal bond ladder. The important thing to keep in mind with this is that it's important to match the timeline of your purchase with the timeline of your ladder. That you continue to kind of match and keep everything invested within that time frame that you're thinking to try to minimize whatever might need to be sold early. So what should you do? Well, first of all, it's important to take stock of any major uh, purchases that you have within the next several years. Anything that you need a significant sum of money for, uh, whatever that means to you. Some, for some people, that could be you know $10,000. For other people, you know, you're not gonna wanna set something aside and segregate it until you get to much higher dollar amounts than that. So um, it's important to take stock of whatever those major purchases are, especially where you couldn't afford to let uh, that money slip through your fingers or delay that purchase um, because of something that happened in the market. So whatever that big purchase is for you, put that capital to work, put that money to work, let it work for, for you between now and when you wanna make that purchase, but be smart about it. Don't put it in the stock market. It's the one time, I love stocks, but there is a time and a place where you shouldn't be invested in the market. And when you have a major planned purchase within the next few years, that's the time to stay out of stocks. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. We're new here. We love new subscribers. We also love comments. So if you have suggestions, feedback, questions about your own situation, please leave a comment. I will definitely get back to you and answer uh, any questions that you might have. Also, um, we offer a free 15 minute phone call with you to answer your specific questions. So if you are uh, parking a bunch of money in cash right now and you're thinking, Man, maybe I should switch things up, like that's not the best strategy because if I need this money in more than 10 minutes, I might wanna earn some interest rate on it, right? So if you're thinking you might wanna earn some interest on uh, whatever it is that you have currently parked in cash or worse, you're realizing that you know maybe you took stock of what you have and what planned purchases you have coming up and now you're really nervous because that money's not segregated, it's invested like everything else is in your portfolio and it's maybe too risky, well let's talk. You can uh, use the link below to schedule a time uh, where we will talk with you for 15 minutes, answer your questions, no sales pitch, no pressure. So click on the link below to schedule your call today. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.